Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz of Chicago Law Larsy Makeup. In today's video, we are going to be unboxing two Dior gifts that I received as well as my Dior purchase and then doing a full face of Dior. So if you're curious to hear what I picked up, what my free gifts were, and how I created this look, keep watching. I want to start today's Dior video by doing just a really, really quick Dior unboxing. I placed a pretty large order with Dior and with that order, I got the absolute best Dior gift with purchase I have ever gotten. Hands down, bar none, the absolute best. I honestly don't know how Dior is going to be able to top this. I mean, this gift with purchase is absolutely over the top. Over the top. I truly, truly cannot think of a better gift with purchase and one that is just worth, it's worth so much. So, if you had asked me before I received this gift that I'm about to show you, what my favorite gift of purchase would be. It is that cream vanity train case. And I have done a video on it and I have posted about it before, but I will link that video up in the cards for you in case you haven't seen it. It is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Dior has changed their theme for the year. So all of their uh, like birthday gifts and their platinum gifts, all of this revolve around this like world travel kind of motif. And they changed their train case. So I did post about this. I know some of you also took advantage of this amazing gift with purchase, but I'm going to show it to you. I am going to show you this gift with purchase. Here is everything that I bought. And I'm just going to set this off to the set because in this huge box is a free gift with purchase. Now, the minimum spend to get this gift with purchase was $500. So I do recognize, realize, understand that that is a very large spend amount. I think that this gift with purchase is worth, in my opinion, it is probably worth that or more. So I took the lid off and this is what is inside but there's more. First, I want to show you this train case. So it has this like beautiful kind of like world and then there's got this animal print on it. Um, and it's just very, very, very nice. And it does have a little handle here up on top. You open it up, there is a mirror and then you've got a, you have a very large case for your makeup, your skincare, for whatever. I like this so much more than the cream one because I feel like this one, if it gets a little bit dirty, you're not going to be able to see it. With that cream one, you get anything on it, you're going to be able to see it. So I do like that this one kind of will camouflage any sort of dirt that may get on it. I just absolutely love this. Absolutely love this. So I'm going to put this off to the side. But not only did I get that beautiful, beautiful train case, I also got this set. Now I purchased this set and I don't know if that video has already gone up or not, but I just purchased this, this set right here. And I think it was, I don't know, I'll, I will, t I'll put the retail price down below, but these are both full size products. And I want to say it was like $140, maybe $200. Um, but you have a full-size Capture Total Serum, full-size. And then a full-size of this wrinkle corrector. Um, it's like a hyaluronic shot thing. I, I truly just purchased these. I just purchased this full-size set. And then they gave it to me for free. For free in this gift with purchase. I truly am blown away. And then inside there are two towels. And the towels do say Dior Beauty on them. So just, okay, so this one is, I would say, bigger than a washcloth. But the other one in here is more like a hand towel. That was my gift with purchase, you guys. That is such an amazing gift of purchase. If you ever see this come up again, I will let you guys know. Um, I, I did post about it over on Instagram and I, maybe even my community page. And I do know that several of you were able to take advantage of it. But now that I have it, now that I see just how amazing it is, 
I mean, I cannot recommend this enough. I, I am just blown away. I am blown away with the generosity of Dior. I did receive this in May. May is my birthday month, so I did receive my platinum birthday gift, which I will also unbox and show you. Um, so if you are platinum, this is the birthday gift that you would get right now. And then I promise we will get to the makeup and we'll do, we'll put on some new Dior makeup today. So here is the box that my birthday gift came in. So it's this cardboard box. Again, it's that same motif with like the world um, and the animals on it. It actually does say Christian Dior around the world. So it is a very nice cardboard box, but it is cardboard. Open it up and this is what it looks like. So you get a notebook with the same um, theme or motif. The pages are unlined, which I kind of was, I was hoping for lined pages and they do say Dior at the bottom. And a box of pencils, They're just regular pencils. They're not colored or anything. So that is the platinum birthday gift. Honestly, I wasn't that impressed. I, I know I, I should be more grateful and I am. I'm very grateful to receive any sort of gift. I am very grateful. But in the past they had the hair mist and like a comb and I just would have rather had that because I don't really know what I'm going to do with this. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll display it back there. But I don't know what I'm going to do with the notebook. And the pencils are just regular pencils, so I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I I think I would have rather had the hair mist. I will display it. I will display it, um, and it is very beautiful. Now for everything that I bought. It does come in the beautiful duo packaging. I think most of this is makeup. <laughs> um, I think a lot of it is makeup. But here is the inside. Now, I did also just place another Dior order, you guys. I I picked up the new pencils and those should come sometime this week. I picked up the Dior Solar Oil. Um, I'm not exactly sure what this is, but I figured it's summertime and when I'm in the sun, I do like to use an oil. Okay, so this is totally different than what I was expecting. Um, I think it's going to be like a shimmering body oil. Yeah, look at that. That's really pretty. I wonder what it smells like. It smells like summer. It smells like summer. I cannot wait to try this. This I'm really, really excited about. I picked up a Dior mascara. We're definitely going to use this today. This is the Dior Show Pump and Volume. I picked up some Dior nail polishes. So I picked up the Nail Glow. And that's what that is. And then I think this one is like a gray color. This is, yeah. This is gray. So that is the nail polish. So I'm definitely going to be using those soon. I probably, I, I definitely need to do my nails. <laughs> they are overdue. I just don't have enough hours in the day. I picked up a new Dior eyeshadow palette. You guys, I'm going to just have to put my glasses on for this. I truly cannot see to read stuff without my glasses. So this is the Smoky Essential. I did also previously pick up some Dior singles. So I'm either going to use the Dior singles today or this new eyeshadow palette today. I don't know which one. Here is the palette Smoky Essential. And I think that looks really pretty. Those definitely look like shades I will get some use out of. And this formula for the eyeshadow is so good. So, so good. Picked up another shade of the Forever Glow Star Filter. I picked up shade three. So I currently have shade two, which I do think is beautiful and it does work for me. But I went ahead and picked up shade three. I thought maybe that might work a little bit better for summer. I picked up a backup of the Dior Forever Matte Foundation. I am almost out of my matte foundation and it is such a good foundation. I went ahead and picked up another one. I picked up another lip maximizer because I clearly don't have enough. I think I counted them last night. I think I have like 15. Um, and this is shade Rose Nude. I picked up a Dior case. This is one of the new limited edition ones and it's called Pink Oblique. And I just thought it was really, really pretty. And then I picked up a refill for it, and this is Dior Vibe, shade 412. And I'm not certain if this is new or limited edition. That's what it looks like. It's really peachy. So 
and it's a little bit lighter than I would normally wear, but we'll see if we can make it work. So this, in case you have never seen it, the refill just slides directly into the case. And then the last thing I picked up is um, more of the Dior Solar line. This is the After Sun Bomb. So I will definitely be taking this to the lake. Here is the tube. Very, very fresh. It does kind of smell like the oil that I just got as well. So I am super, super excited to try this. I'm hoping that's going to be nice this weekend um, and I will be able to get some sun. To start, I am going to use that new star filter and shade number three. And I will do a little swatch comparison so you can see what shade number two looks like versus shade number three. But here is the bottle. And then let me just show you. Here's number two. So you guys can see. <laughs> Very dirty um, compared to the new one that I picked up. So that is shade number two. These do blend down really, really nicely into your skin. Into your skin. So I think you could probably wear you know, a couple different shades because they do blend down, but there's number two and there's number three. So there is quite a pretty big difference. Um, hopefully shade number three isn't too deep. So I'm just going to take one pump and I do just apply it with my fingers. All right. It's not too deep. It looks really good. Yeah. I really, really, really like these. I have tried other brands products that are similar to this, the Dior has to be my favorite. I love it. I could just wear this. Honestly, if it was the summertime and I was just leaving the house, I could throw this on, walk out the door and I would be fine. I do oftentimes go to the grocery store with no makeup on <laughs> um, or Costco or, you know, any of the errands that I have to do on the weekend. If I'm not filming and doing my makeup, I will just run out of the house with nothing on. This is the Dior Forever Matte. Like I said, it is almost done. I am like really, really scraping the bottle to get anything out. So let's see if I'm able to get a full face. We're gonna, we're gonna try. I don't know. But that's why I bought a backup is because it is one of my favorite foundations and I am almost done. Well, I think after today I will be done, which makes me so happy. I love to finish foundations. I feel like I have so many. So for me to finish a whole entire foundation, I, it means I like it. It means it really is one of my favorites and one that I use on a regular basis. And I don't want to open up the new one just yet because I really do want to get through some of my other foundations. I mean, I have a lot. I really should do another Shot My Stash video. For concealer, I'm going to go in with the Dior Forever Skin Correct, this is just a beautiful, beautiful concealer. I cannot recommend it enough. I have it in my summer shade and my winter shade. This is my summer shade and it's, it's 3.5 in, which actually is probably a little deep even for my summer shade, but it's almost empty and I will definitely finish it by the end of the summer. I'm going to go ahead and use the Dior Forever Glow Maximizer and this is the bronze shade. I really, really like these. I was not sure. I, I honestly wasn't sure I was going to like them, but I do. I, I really do. I think I went back and I bought a couple more. I think I have almost every shade. I don't have the coral shade. I know that. But I honestly think I have like four or five of them. They are just beautiful. I love the way they blend down. I mean, it's so pretty. All right, I do want to keep it a little bit light because I am going to go back in today with the pink lilac blush. So I don't want to have too much bronze because the last time I used this blush, I used the bronzed glow blush underneath, which looked gorgeous. An absolute gorgeous, gorgeous combination. But today I wanted to just try the pink lilac on its own. For powder today, I'm going to use the Dior Forever Cushion Powder and I have shade medium, which is definitely my summer shade. So it's been a while since I've used it. I'm so glad that I finally have a little bit of color on my skin and I can use this powder again because it is very, very good. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit with my Lumiere powder brush and apply it. I did place another Dior order and I picked up the new eyeliners. I think I picked up four of them. So those will be coming. I also picked up the new Dior, um, lash primer. 
So I'm excited to try that. I did a live last weekend with my friend Gila over on Instagram. I will link her channel for you guys. But she swears by the Dior Lash Primer. And I didn't realize that it had been reformulated. The original one I, I didn't really care for. I really liked the Chanel. She swears that the new one is so much better. So I did pick that up. So that should be here. I think in a few days. So we'll definitely get another Dior video up very soon for everybody. All right, bronzer. I'm going to go in with the Dior Forever bronzer and this is shade number five. So this is a permanent bronzer. I just have a limited edition packaging. I don't know what kind of magic Dior puts in their complexion products, but just look at the skin. I cannot recommend the Dior complexion products enough. They are absolutely some of the best. I mean, my skin just looks flawless right now. Flawless. Yeah, so that's just my random thought is how good my skin looks. And it is the products. It is the makeup. It is so good. All right, so I'm going to go in now with this pink lilac blush. I'm not wearing any cream blush underneath. So you should get a pretty good idea of what this blush looks like. And it's actually a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. That's a very, very light pink. It is pretty. It is pretty. I do think I still prefer it on top of that bronzed glow. That combination was just beautiful. And if you have not already seen that video, I will also link that one up in the cards for you so you guys can check it out. That is pretty. That really, really is very, very pretty. Let me know what you guys think, though. Have you tried the new pink lilac? Let me know what you guys think of it. I think for my eye look today, I am going to use the new singles. And I picked up three. So here is Poncho. And this is a satin. I picked up Cashmere. And that is a matte. And then the last one I picked up is Beige Mitza. And this is a metallic. So I picked up one of each formula. Now I do have beige Mitza in two other formulas. So I'm going to show those to you as well. Because there have been several reformulations of the single eyeshadows. So here is the formula before this current one. This is beige Mitza. And then before that, they had this formula and it was called something else. And I cannot pronounce it. And so this one I won in a giveaway. I won this one from Al Feisty. And it just happened that I had already purchased the beige mitza. I did not realize that they were the same, but they are the same. And then of course, because it is my favorite eyeshadow color, um, I did go ahead and pick up the new one because it is a shade that I will use and I wanted to kind of swatch them for you and show you the differences. So we're going to swatch with those comparisons. I'll start with the original one right here. And then it was reformulated, but I mean, you can see they're the exact same. And now here is the latest beige Mitza. All right. They all look the same. They all felt the same. I can't imagine that they would perform any different on the eye. Do I need all three? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, uh, but that's definitely my favorite shade. It's that beautiful kind of brown taupey shade. So I will be using the new one today. That is definitely a shade that we are going to be using today. Um, but I did want to show you all the other ones that I have the different formulas. And then I will go ahead and swatch. Again, this is cashmere. So that's just a beautiful, beautiful kind of beige matte shade. And then here's poncho. And again, it's a satin. So poncho and beige Mitza are very similar. They really, really are. And that's the reason I bought it is so that I could swatch it and compare it for you guys to show you just how similar or how different they were. And then I do also have a few other uh, Dior single shadows in my collection. So I'll go ahead and show you those. So here's Tool, and this is a satin. So that's just a shimmer. All right, so those are all my Dior singles. They did have some beautiful colors, like really, really beautiful colors. I didn't think I would wear them. So I didn't pick them up because I didn't want to be wasteful. They do look beautiful. I will let you know how the formula is. So if those colors interest you, um, you'll know how the formula is. I'm going to start out with this matte 
This is cashmere, and I'm going to take a Sony G Jumbo Blender to just take this in the eye, all over the eye. I'm just kind of using this as a base. I did not have a Dior eye primer, so I just kind of took my foundation brush and used what was ever on my brush on my eye. So that's just a beautiful, beautiful kind of like base shade or crease shade. I am going to do one swatch comparison. So I did just pick up the Chanel Single Shadows and I picked up Beige Suede. And I do want to do a real quick swatch comparison so you can see the difference and how similar or different they are. So here is the new Chanel Single and this is Beige Suede. You can already tell that the Dior is going to be more pigmented. I mean, that's a huge difference. The, the Dior definitely has more pigment. I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to go into this tool shade and place this on the inner half. Doing it a little backwards today. I normally do go in with my deepest shade first. But I just wanted to see how that was going to look. So I'm going to take my Sony G Classic Crease and I'm going to go into Beige Mitza. And I'm just going to place that in the crease. Now, the Dior singles are beautiful. They are. I, and I do, I, I do like single shadows. I don't reach for them as often because I feel like it takes, it takes more work on my part, especially in the morning, because then I have to like really think about what colors I want to use together. And to me, I just find when I'm trying to get ready for work, it's easier to just pull out a palette that's already curated to create a look um, than me trying to do it myself. But the single shadows are beautiful and the formula is so nice. I just don't reach for them as often as I should. And I mean, I say that about any brand. You know, I have Chantecaille singles. I have the Chanel singles. Um... I even have some Bobbi Brown singles. I have Sephora. I have a wide range of singles. I just don't reach for them. I'm going to go in with Poncho and use my Sony G Mini Booster to just take this on the outer corner. Now these shades probably, I, I should have just used one or two, honestly. But we're just playing today. I think I really like the satin formula the most. And that's what this is. This poncho is a satin. And I think that that's the prettiest. The satin has a little bit of shimmer to it. And I just think it's really pretty. Take a Sony G Builder and go into that tool shade and just take it in the inner half again. I think on the eyeliners, I think I might have picked a few shades that were outside my comfort level. Because they really did have some beautiful, beautiful shades on those eyeliners. I'm going to take a clean blending brush. This is the BK Beauty A503. And I'm just blending. I think it's beautiful. I really do. I actually think I really like all those shades together. That looks very, very pretty. But let me know what you guys think. I mean, the formula of all of these is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I highly, highly recommend them. I truthfully, uh, honestly, if you had to choose between the Dior and the Chanel, I would go with the Dior. The Dior is more pigmented. You're going to get more payoff. And I think the formula is better. I really, really do. That is so, so pretty. Now I have, you know, been wearing the older versions of the Dior single shadows for a while. They are really good. I have high expectations for these new ones. And so far they have not let me down. I think that they look really, really good. I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes off camera. This is the Dior eyeliner. Um, it's just a brown shade. So I'm going to go do that off camera and then we'll be back so, so I can test out this new to me mascara. All right, so here is the Dior Pump and Volume. I think I have tried samples of this. It's been forever since I've had a Dior mascara. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Here is the wand. Everyone raves about the, uh, the Dior Iconic Overcurl. 
and I cannot use it, you guys. I just, it is not, it is not for me. But I think that I have tried samples of this and I did really like it. Yeah, I, I like this wand a lot more. I really, really like this. I'm so glad I picked this up. And now I'm even more excited to try the new lash primer with it. All right, I really, really like this mascara. I'll have to see how it wears throughout the day, but honestly, applying it, love. Absolutely love. So now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to try this new lipstick I picked up. I think it's going to be a little bit too peachy for me, but I do have a Dior Lip Maximizer that I can top with it to add a little bit of that extra color because the shade that I picked up, this Rose Nude, it is pretty pigmented. It's going to take a Dior Lip Liner. This is shade number 414 Jungle. I'm going to take that new Dior lip and again this is shade 412 Dior Vibe. I do think that it looks better on the lips than it did swatch. That could also be with a little bit of help from that lip liner. But that is what Dior Vibe looks like. And like I said, the Dior Lip Maximizer Rose Nude. A little bit of color to it. That definitely brought the lip to life. I swear by these Dior lip maximizers. I really do. When I tell you I think I have like 15, I think I have 15. It could be more. I really, really love them. All right, that completes today's look. Let me know what you guys think. I, I love it. I am literally speechless. I think it looks so good. It is going to last all day. I honestly, honestly, I just love it. I really, really do. These new eyeshadows are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I think if you have the original formula, I don't think you need to go and repurchase the same shade. <laughs> don't do what I did. But if there are new shades that interest you, go ahead and pick them up. They are really, really, really beautiful. Like I said, I keep saying it. I love these uh, rosy glow blushes. I think that they are just beautiful. I have not been disappointed at all by any of them. I really, really like them. But let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think of this look? I would love to hear. And I also would love to hear what you guys think about the new gift purchase. I am blown away with the full size gifts that they included. Truly, that is just remarkable. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think of the birthday gift too. Am I wrong? for thinking that this notepad isn't that great. Um, I just really, really wanted the hair mist and I didn't get it. I want to thank you all so much for sticking around to the very end. I know this was a longer video today. I really do appreciate you guys watching to the very end. And if you have not already subscribed, I encourage you to subscribe and join our luxury beauty community. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video.